So we're going to make a uh, nacho toppings today. So what I have right here is a um, beef, and it's you know this right here, guys. This is a uh, it's not a uh, brown beef, but it's like a very fine chopped beef right here. So what I have is an olive oil, and then I have my beef. So what I'm going to put in next is our parsley. a lot of parsley right there. Okay. And of course, we are going to put also a uh, minced garlic, about a uh, teaspoon. How about the minced onion? This is a dried minced onion. Just like so. Mix it up. Beautiful. Okay. All right, it smells so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my paprika. And our black pepper. Like that. So all we have to do is just mix them up and cook them for two or three minutes. That's how easy it is, guys. Okay? So all we have to do is just leave them to brown a little bit for two or three minutes, okay? See how nice and beautiful that is, guys. Oh, delicious! It's so good, so good. So I'm gonna brown them for another minute, and this is ready. And I'm gonna just take this out from the pan, and this is gonna be good for our nacho. So there you go guys, so we're going to assemble our beautiful nachos today. So what I have right here is a uh, ingredients that I have that I'm going to mix in um, before the bacon and after the bacon or you know broiling. You know. So what I have right here, this is the beef that I fried earlier so I seasoned them with a little bit of salt herbs and spices like parsley garlic onion pepper and paprika and so what I have right here is I have three different kinds of cheese I have extra sharp cheddar and of course this two right here is a mixture of mozzarella and provolone cheese so this is just a beautiful combination right here so and of course, I have our fresh vegetables and fruits. And if you notice, they're like, what? You get strawberry right there? Yes, ma'am. I got strawberry right here. So I replaced them instead of tomatoes. You know, tomatoes has a tanginess, so that complements the creaminess of our uh, cheese and our meat. So what I have right here is a twist of strawberry since strawberry is a um, season you know pretty much it's we got a lot of strawberries at the uh, at this time so you know I use a strawberry so I just cut it up into a little pieces like this so it will match to our beef so what I have is strawberry so I have avocado and lettuce so this is going to be the topics that we're going to put in after we broil our tortilla chips, cheese, and of course our beef. And so this is the tortilla chips that I'm going to use. And this is just 
plain tortilla chips that you know that you can get in the store so what I'm going to do is just start you know assembling them and get the goodness of our nachos so what I'm going to do is just take all my ingredients out from my pan okay and then we're going to open the star of our recipe okay so all we have to do is just put our tortilla chips just like so so you can put as much as you want it depends on how many people is going to eat so we'll try them right back okay and then what i'm going to do is put our beautiful look at that it smells so good mm. So this is already a uh, fried beef and it's already seasoned so all we have to do is just put them on the top beautiful so this is around a uh, half a pound of beef so what do is just like that scatter them beautiful distribute them evenly so every tortilla chips would have a meat Beautiful. Okay. Nice. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll just take this. You see how nice and pretty that is, guys. So excited. So excited. Okay. So we'll start on cheddar cheese. So you can put any cheese that you like, you know, um, you can put actually parmesan if you wanted to. So I figured I have the mozzarella and provolone for, you know, the stretch and cheese that we like. And of course, the distinct flavor of our sharp cheddar. Okay, scatter them, distribute evenly. So once we brawl it, it will coat every chips we have. Oh, nice and beautiful. That is nice. Awesome. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, and then we'll put up provolone and mozzarella. The mozzarella and the provolone will give the flavor and the texture of our nachos. See how nice it is, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just so excited. There you go. That's like a volcano of flavors right there. Perfect. So all we have to do is just put them in our uh, oven for like a, a couple of minutes to brawl it because all we need is just to melt the creaminess of our cheese, you know, just incorporate them and shower them in our tortilla chips. That's all we need. Okay, so we are going to put them in our oven. Okay. There you go guys, so after a couple of minutes that we put in, in our uh, oven, look how nice and beautiful that is guys, you see? Just the cheese just melting it down and just, you know, making a blanket to our beautiful beef and tortilla. Oh, this is just so good. So what I'm going to do next is, put our fresh vegetables and fruits so I'm going to put our lettuce just like so nice. so this will give also the freshness the crunch of our tortilla will complements on our uh, meat so what I'm going to put next is our avocado 
lady that is coming. Oh, beautiful. And this is very healthy. This is enticing. And at the same time, it's refreshing, especially for the summer. Nice. Beautiful. And of course, don't forget our beautiful strawberries. Okay, we'll just put our beautiful strawberries on the top. Nice. Look at that, guys. Look how pretty and beautiful that is. You get all the colors, the texture, and the flavors. So there you go guys, so this is our beautiful strawberry nachos. So what I have right here is I have a ragu cheese for your dip and you know you can have them a dip or without a dip. I think this is already flavorful so all you have to do is just dig in and eat it. So I hope guys that you like my video today. And I really do appreciate you guys for always following and watching my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe. Please! Please don't forget to subscribe. And so we can have a lot of views and a lot of um, likes and share. And thank you very much, guys. See you later. Bye!